check it, ARV Nation. Today we've got something special and unexpected. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the Osmo Pocket by DJI. Uh, something that I've seen around for a while, always been intrigued about, but I thought when or how can I utilize something like this and with all the different technology around today, especially with the fact that I'm using the drones by their company and I absolutely love them, I was thinking about going with a GoPro 8 for the new camera because it has that hyper smooth uh, 2.0 and everything. It's got really good features. I've heard great things about it. However, uh, I just thought, you know what, stick with DJI, especially for, again, the price point. This is also very unique. It's a very unique guy. It came out in 2018. Uh, first when it came out, I guess it had a lot of uh, different glitches and issues with it. But since then, they've uh, done a ton of firmware updates and just really utilized this particular pocket camera to its fullest. So today we're unboxing this and uh, just getting down to the nitty gritty about it. And I look forward to using this. So if you have any suggestions on what I should test this on or any questions about usability. So of course, leave in the comments below anything you want us to see, you know, specifically test with it or any features that you're questioning uh, or are curious about. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump in right into it. So of course the packaging, classic DJI, very clean, white uh, surroundings with the, it just, it's a great package. I mean, nowadays it's hard to find a company that doesn't have a really good, you know, display package, but I'm just, I'm always really impressed with DJI, how they do their stuff. Not, not a huge box, not very many things that are really going to come with this item, I'm assuming. They do have, however, a lot of um, add-on items and support items by other companies, by P, like uh, PYG, or no, PGY Tech has a lot of different uh, accessories for the Osmo Pocket, so that's just something else to look into to just always utilize your product to the fullest. Obviously, again, we invest a lot of money into these kinds of items. And the last thing you want to do is limit yourself on what you can do because of, you know, sticking to the bare minimum as far as uh, just the item itself when there's so many different products out to help you utilize and get the most out of it. So first things first, let's check out what's in this little box here. Looks like we've got power cable. little wrist lanyard power cable which is the micro C power cable here we've got a another USB-C plug now if I remember correctly some of the research I did on this uh, Osmo Pocket is this is actually part of the unit where you're able to actually connect it to a smart device. So that's for items using the micro uh, C adapter and this appears to be the iPhone adapter. Yeah, so there's your iPhone adapter. So again, almost like the drones, you're able to actually use uh, your smartphone with the associated apps to just get more use and technical uh, aspects out of the product so that's again really good uh, I'm just I'm super excited to get this thing on the go and figure out what I can absolutely do with it so now let's get into the actual unit itself all right so right off the bat we see it comes in its little carrying case and I'm liking what I'm seeing very very stiff, robust. I, I don't see any reason to believe that the Osmo Pocket isn't absolutely safe in this item. It's got this little button here. All right, and it just slides right in. And there it is. So we're gonna set this down right here. 
All right, so first look, of course, just like any other product, it's got the little warning tabs, the little protective shields, the screen protector here. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna peel that guy right off. Take a look at this. If it wants to come off, of course, there we go. got a little pull tab. It's a little foam just to keep the, uh, the gimbal from being jarred around while it's in its packaging. That's really good. And then the little lens protector for the camera itself. One thing that I found really great with some of the research I did on the, uh, the Osmo Pocket is that it can do 4K 60 frames a second, which is phenomenal in my opinion. Something was, especially with something so little. I mean, look at this thing. It literally fits into the palm of my hand and apparently it's real quick to turn on here's your protective cover so if you just don't want to have those units on them you can just have this on the device itself otherwise you can take this and when not in use you can go ahead you can slide it into its groove here and it's just going to keep it locked away ready to go of course, since I use the Android devices, I'm going to use the, the Micro C. So it's right here, ready to rock and roll. And we're going to get into another video eventually, uh, once I get familiar with it, just on what apps you can utilize with this item and just how they extend the, the usability. So uh, the power button right here, we're supposed to be able to hold it, and she's going to do her gimbal stabilization check. So we're going to go ahead and power it on, see what happens. And there we go and then here we go as you can see it's keeping everything eye level Let's see if the camera can catch that the cameras have an issue focusing on that but I mean super smooth rotations you can see the little screen here I don't think the camera's gonna really the cameras really focused on me but I mean right here I can just show you guys right here the screen so we've got it's touch screen we're just gonna go ahead we're gonna walk through these settings hopefully you guys can see everything all right on the top device not activated and then you can just pinpoint focus fail they didn't like what I chose focus there now though so this thing is a super cool go ahead and power this off and then it tucks itself away and then of course we can then take it and tuck it away right here and one thing to take note is uh, as you can see this little adapter for plugging into my my phone it has a nice little cradle area right there and it nestles itself right back in the real nice here's your spot for an SD card or micro SD, sorry. Uh, but one thing is PJY Tech, I believe, makes a cradle that's both protective and works as a mount for putting it on a tripod. And what that offers you is it also offers for some of the expansion kits that come with the wireless adapter and the thumb stick, uh, the thumb wheel, if you will, to just help with some of the actions of the Osmo Pocket. It allows you to actually house it in a protective case like the one you see here but you get to keep all the attachments on the item you don't have to you know because right now this is bare bones you're not going to stick any additional items here this is literally how it's meant to be so to be able to keep those additional expansion kits like the wireless adapter that also has the mount for a tripod as well as the scroll wheel to help with just some of the features it has you have to constantly take them off, put them on, take them off, put it on. If you think about it, it's going to be wear and tear on these little chips, these, you know, these so small. So to have a protective case that encompasses the ability to keep all those items attached to it is a bonus. So we'll be doing a video on that as soon as I pick that item up. Uh, once I get familiar with this, we'll, we'll continue to do videos. And I just can't wait to see what kind of videos we get out of this, uh, especially at, you know, sporting events, car meets. Just all sorts of things that I love to do, just random stuff. Uh, the portability, it, that's what this is about. 
I can put this in my pocket, literally Osmo pocket, and I know it's protected. And if something pops up, then I'm like, hey, this would be a great opportunity to take some video. It also does 12 megapixel uh, photography. So I mean, you've really got a huge advantage with this device if you're into just on the go, having something to catch moments that you are unexpected. So thanks for watching guys. Leave like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let us know what you think about this uh, unboxing. I know it was short and quick to the point, but just let us know what you think and what you want to see us do with the Osmo Pocket as well as uh, any additional videos you'd like to see us do. We're going to get into a bunch of, bunch of good stuff. So thanks for watching.